So, so this is where things get a little bit uh, of an assumption-based situation for the sellers. And I want to share this, and you tell me if, if, if this is accurate. When you download the business report, what you are going to see in that report is a column called unit session percentage. That is often referred to by everybody in, the, in, in this universe who works on numbers uh, as the conversion. But actually, that is not the true conversion. So what you are seeing in that number is exactly what the title of the column is, unit session percentage. What that means is how many people landed on the page versus how many pieces were purchased. So imagine the scenario. Let's say that you launch your listing and one person looked at it. That whole day, one person looked at it and they bought three pieces. What will the USP be reporting? 300% conversion rate. 300%, right? So one order though. So the true conversion is 100%. You brought yes. one person and then you got uh, one order. That's 100% conversion. But if you look at the business reports, data, you are going to be misled by the data because you're going to think I'm great. Now, now, of course, this never happens. You never bring one uh, visitor who makes three pieces, places one order and buys three pieces. So therefore, it's easily identifiable to say, oh, you know, 300%, something is wrong. It's never like that. You've got a lot of uh, sessions coming in, being registered. And then some of them are buying two pieces, some of them are buying three pieces, most of them are buying one piece probably, but somewhere along the way, that USP that's reported for that time period will be a blended rate. And it will never tell you the correct conversion. So the right way to monitor this is to, to run your own calculations every time you download it so that you can see. So uh, do you agree? What is your take on this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's absolutely as, as technically um, true. I just think over time, it averages out to be pretty close. But yes, you could absolutely um, take, so you got the units ordered, you know, or the, the it's each of the metrics. I, I forget which one's the the one that you actually divide by by sessions, and then you could find the real. So you have the, the total, is it order items, I think, and then units, or right. purchase maybe yeah and then you divide that by, by yeah. sessions units right. ordered. so there is a column called units ordered and there's a column called order items so right. what you want to do is you want to calculate by dividing order items uh, by uh, sessions so that way right. you get to see 